Welcome everybody. This is our uh, our first Periscope of our Iowa journey. Uh, uh, I'm gonna wait until John finishes uh, uh, emailing uh, oh, our, our contacts yeah. here. Uh, but we are live in Iowa. We just, just got done visiting Ted Cruz, Rick Santorum, and Mike Huckabee's uh, headquarters here in Iowa, here in Des Moines. Uh, I, I will go ahead and ask you guys to rank, by friendliness, those three. Go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. Rank amongst yourselves how friendly they were to John and I. Just two people so, in suits. Suits. <laughs> suits. One tie. <laughs> one tie. One tie, two one, suits. One belt. <laughs> one belt. I forgot a black belt, so I'm not wearing a belt. I'm just letting the <laughs> letting the jacket hang over. Letting your uh, your amber waves, amber's wave in the field. I don't know. Uh, do do you do you now believe in Jesus? <laughs> I'm going with a four overall. No, no, no. I rank them. Rank them together. Right. Right. Like so, so one, order. two, three. Oh, nice so here we mess. go. Yeah, Santorum, Huckabee, Cruz. How awkward were the handshakes? Actually, not really all that awkward. Like. Um, it was they, they were they were all firm midwestern handshakes. They were all political handshakes. I got like a from from the from one of the girls I got like a sort of you, you got know, you got a you got a dead fish? I got a no like a, like an Oh, Indian, like, like 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 a southern like a, like a southern, southern bell. A southern bell like you yeah. should have like uh, I should have kissed the Oh, Chante. I you my know, lady. And I would have but there was this giant desk in a way and then that would have been awkward cuz I'd been like leaning yeah. like with my freaking face uh you know <laughs> so people are somewhere. saying Santorum Huckabee Cruz, uh, like and and actually that's the exact opposite. <laughs> it's so opposite. It's Cruz's opposite. campaign was by far the most friendly. That uh, now uh, this might have uh, this this might have something to do with the fact that uh, that like they're actually winning in the polls compared to the three of them. Yep. Uh, but uh, they were very nice. They had a big open thing. They didn't have any. Uh, they didn't have any like lobby, which is I think a key to it. Um, and then the other two, uh, uh, Santorum, I think Santorum. Uh, he's uh, their people were a little on edge. Yeah. And I think it's because we came to. I think they saw us with our camera taking pictures out front. And of also, their thing. That was the com the campaign that we were wearing these crazy old. We coot hats. we have our crazy old coot button hats, <laughs> and we were wearing those we're to the like, Santa. Oh yeah, let's go, like this cruise went so well. We should walk <laughs> in with the life of the party. And, and uh, then we weren't anymore. No, our crazy old coot button hats did not go over well at the Rick Santorum office. They were not pleased, and uh, but they they happily took the game, and that was it. Um, Crew, uh, Huckabee was also, uh, again, a little like, eh, who are these guys? Uh, but then didn't they were. Didn't get past the lobby. Didn't get past lobby. the lobby. Um, you know. Uh, uh, actually, um, one of their guys on the phone, he was super interested. He was. If he, if he, he was so interested that he, like, was, like, waving me over and he gave me his business card. Yeah. But he couldn't talk to me. But he couldn't talk because he was, on, he the was on the phone. Uh, also, a little political insight. Um, the people that are staffing Huckabee's office are their South Carolina people, which kind of maybe tells you a little something about the fact that they're here and not in South Carolina and how important Iowa is to Huckabee. Uh, Peter Legler says, I should have done Fat Rick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe... Oh, my God, rickety, rickety, Rick! Uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know whether or not they would have appreciated... Uh, oh, 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 oh. I don't know, man. I was really in love with the contender. I was really, I was just been so, I was just so sad about the polls, you guys. Oh my god. Um. All right. Who else is on the agenda today? Uh, I think right now, as soon as John's done typing, he's gonna be the cameraman, and we're gonna drive to Raygun. Raygun is a store in Des Moines. Um. Tagline, greatest score in the universe. <laughs> but Healthy Attic, my wife, says, I hate Fat Rick as much as the Santorum campaign hates Fat Rick, <laughs> which is a fair point. Um, so uh, so we're, we're going to go to Raygun. 
and then I think we have to come back because I got to, well, no, we might have time to visit Ben Carson or Donald Trump before, or while we're in downtown Des Moines, we might do Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders because they're both downtown. So is Rubio. Uh, you should have uh, uh, brought fry, fried chicken to Huckabee instead of the game. They liked the game. They, were they liked the game. the game. No, they were very friendly. I mean, like, you know, it, it, it makes sense. I don't know. Of all the Republican nominees, I, I feel like I, I feel like um, uh, uh, Mike Huckabee might be the one that I, I wouldn't mind, like, talking to. Like, he seems like a very nice guy. He's, he's personable enough to be on television, like, yep. that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously, I don't agree with any of them, but, like, uh, you know, I think uh, that would be the way to go. I don't know. Th this is the internet, so so show me by way of hearts. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the old Hulk Hogan. Let me see how loud you can get. Who <laughs> thinks that we should go to Hillary Clinton's campaign next? Oh, 95, 94, oh, 93. But now, who thinks we should go to Bernie Sanders next? <laughs> Oh, oh 96. <laughs> 97 trending upwards. Uh-oh. Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton in a dead oh, tie. 99. Only because people can uh, only hit hearts so much. <laughs> what about Donald Trump? Oh! Any Donald Trump fans in the house? 99. <laughs> well, does he break a hundred? <laughs> no, no, uh, no. People are like, no, 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 Trump. We're we are going to go to Trump's. I don't think we'll get past the lobby of Trump. That is the number of viewers, not the number of hearts. Um. But yeah, all right. Uh. Well, I don't know anything about this. No, I don't. Uh, uh, so, yeah, Stacey B says we definitely won't get through the lobby with Trump. That's probably a fair point. Um, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know, though. It really depends on, I mean, like, they're, they're going to be very busy since they're setting up a, a, a campaign event within, like, 12 hours of announcing it. Um, you know, uh, 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 dorm rooms in my uh, in Lawrence and Hall and Syracuse University were, were put together with more forethought than Trump's uh, campaign event tonight. Uh, ben Carson and Bernie Sanders should hang out. Uh, uh, Firestorm, my, uh, yeah, no, I have very Dave Navarro brows. Th th this is a great campaign issue. This is this is really the talk of Des Moines is my brows. Brow game on fleek. Boom. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, no, Trump is Trump is a clown. Well, listen here. Uh, ask us uh, any question. That's John's right. gonna John's gonna take the take AMA. Do you guys have any questions about uh, yeah, any of them? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Just just uh, just pick one and stick with it, so people don't have to flip their phones. Yeah, back we're not gonna nauseate the audience. All right, we're taking questions. En route or suggestions. How was Cruz's people friendliest? Uh, well, they, they were really in. As soon as they found out that there was something that they could win, right. as soon as they found out that there, there was a competi competition that they could win, uh, they, they were totally into it. I could tell that their campaign manager was going to rally all of the volunteers to come just race. completely right swing the card caucus towards right. Cruz. And if that happens, that happens. I mean, yeah, that'll be that'll be up to the other campaigns to uh, to to respond, right? Uh, we have not seen any of the actual candidates. They are all actually they're all like three hours away right now, out in uh, out in the smaller smaller towns in Iowa. Uh, yeah, they're all rallying stuff, but they will all be back here tonight. I mean, probably not Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, although they're around. Yes. Um, Bernie, I think, has... Bernie event. has a couple events. He has, like, three today. or four events today, yeah. He's out with Susan Sarandon right yep. now. Susan Sarandon uh, in Burlington, Iowa, I believe. Which, who knows? I mean, everything in Iowa is three hours away from everything else in Iowa. Uh, yeah, no joke. So so that's that's that. You know, uh, the other thing with, with the Cruz thing is, is uh, I think the big thing about the Cruz campaign was that... Uh, 
they, they didn't have a lobby. Yeah. It was just you walk in straight straight into the mix. But even then, like, you know, I asked uh, I asked uh, uh, the, the, the campaign guy uh, to take a picture with, you know, just of his operation. And, uh, and he was like, like, yeah, let's just get a, let's get a volunteer. They, they, he pulled a volunteer. Shit, I'm making sure I uh, he, he, pull, he pulled a volunteer over to hold our game and take a picture of it in front of a Ted Cruz thing. That's right. So Santorum, Santorum's office completely blocked us out. Uh, Cruz actually, the Cruz office pulled a volunteer from the phone banks to come take a photo with us. And then the Huckabee camp allowed us to take a photo in front of their sign, but didn't want any of their people in it. Yeah. Uh, we made a soft ask of the Huckabee people. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, you guys want to be in it? Which, I mean, like, to be fair, probably the more prudent, right? Right. We're, we're an unknown quantity. We literally walk in, walk in bearing gifts. Yeah. And then slyly ask for a photo. Because so, they don't uh, know. There is a little bit of an edge to the game. Right? right. Like, it's not fawning. Uh, we have our own translations of these quotes, for which they could find offensive, right? Uh, I don't think anybody would, and we're certainly not going to play up any, uh, any kind of embarrassment for them. Uh, but, you know, I, I can understand them being not cool with it. Right? Oh yeah, and it's like they don't even know who we are and why we're there. Like we might be some pranksters from a TV show, exactly, uh, looking to like, you know, fake kiss them on camera and then post like, oh shit. Oh no, all these guys that we visited have to be on twenty four seven alert for the glitter bomb. Yeah. Right. Like they, nobody wants to get glitter bombed, and we. Uh, uh, two strapping young gentlemen from the San Francisco area are prime, prime glitter, glitter bombers. bombers. <laughs> so, like, like, if we were going to get profiled for anything, for me it would be terrorism and for John it would be glitter bombing. <laughs> uh, I would be real bombing and John would be glitter bombing. Uh, how do we introduce ourselves is the next question. Uh, we introduced ourselves with, a uh, like, hi, I'm, I'm Justin and uh, this is John. And I'm John. We, uh, we, we made this uh, card game about the presidential uh, campaigns and debates. Uh, we, we came all the way out from California. I always highlight that, that yeah. we, we traveled a long way to, uh, you know, because we believe that if it weren't for campaigns like your guys', uh, then we uh, would not have uh, a game. So we wanted to drop, drop it off with you guys, and, uh, and, and they're usually very nice. Yeah, you know, the problem with the Santorum thing is that they were already at, 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 at you know, yeah, high alert. They were already at high alert. Like, they, they we, met us shoulder to shoulder. Oh, man, it was, at, a, at it was a Spartan line. Yeah. Like, you were, we were, like, we couldn't have broken that, like, with 16, 16, uh, 16 glitter bombs. 16 glitter bombs <laughs> and, a, like, a fat fourth grader playing Red Rover. Uh, uh, but we've actually, I just, I've been watching the top of the screen and we've, been emailed back by both of the people at my, at the Huckabee complex already. Oh, really? And that was the email that I was sending at the beginning of this. So, uh, yeah, no, they're they're watching, they're responding, uh, which is great. We would love to have uh, actual volunteers from the campaign to come out and play the card caucus because, like, absolutely. I mean, because that, get... that's that's the best. The best is if we mm. actually get volunteers from the other campaigns to play against each Absolutely. other. Absolutely. That's everything we want with this game, is making politics and, and the presidential race fun and not necessarily like life or death knife fight. Exactly. Right? Oh man, that'd be so great if we can get one person from each campaign to come together and have a great time. I think that was the initial idea, right? Was That was to, our stretch goal. That was like that was like if we can do this. Well just have one supporter from each thing. Right. Right? Um and and then it just became like, you wanna know what? Let's just go out and demo the game. Let's just play the game as much as possible, which is what we're gonna do. Exactly. Um uh, no the decks that we give them do not include the politically incorrect. No! <laughs> We're very politically correct when dealing very, with but, the, actual the official, politicians. A, the official <laughs> HQs do not get the PI decks. Now, if I were to take a guess on which campaigns would be the most friendly to us, mm -hmm. it would be Hillary, Bernie, and Rubio. Because those are the three 
that are trying to kind of out skateboard each other. Right. Yeah, definitely. And maybe Jeb. Jeb probably would. Jeb Jeb would Jeb would be good, but I think I think he's too he's too old timey to like take the chance on it kind of. Although Jeb like um, they, he probably has a whole list of, of like sanctioned folksy activities that he's allowed to do. Although Jeb might not I don't even know if there's gonna be anybody at Jeb's HQ here in Iowa, man. Like he it, might like, just be doubling down on New Hampshire. I think he's yeah, that he's polling better in New Hampshire and uh you, you would you might kind of expect that that's just where he's gonna be. Um, oh, Trump's getting one. Oh no, like Trump's. We're like every, everyone's getting one. Yeah. No, no, everyone's getting one. I mean, like these were kind of like a Cruz obviously has a very real chance to win. Um, but you know, Santorum and Huckabee by the polls uh, are is not um, uh, not necessarily uh, don't have the best shot. Like. For them, they're, they're probably at this point strategically looking for a strong showing, you know? For them, beating Rubio would be a win. Yeah. Right? Like, beating somebody that the media thinks has more of a shot in a quarter would be a win for them. But we wanted to bring it to everybody. Oh, yeah. I mean, the uh, the, Rubio, the Rubio camp, that's the one that, that where the uh, the GOP, like, that's he's who they want, right? Uh, at this point. I mean, depends on who you talk to. Technically, by the endorsements, Jeb still has more endorsements than, than Rubio. Uh, and and uh, since, the, since like, the media kind of anointed Rubio as like the other establishment guy, he hasn't really grown. So now the narrative is like, why hasn't Rubio grown? Yeah. Maybe he's not the guy. And maybe we just need to pick between Trump and Cruz, which... Nobody in the Republican establishment wants at all, mm -hmm. either of them. Um, so we brought five cases <laughs> of, so that, if this is a case, we brought five cases of contender games with us and one entire suitcase full of politically incorrectness. Yeah, so uh, they are priced to move. Uh, come on out. Priced to New move, York. which is the normal price. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you are out... Uh, in the uh, the Iowa area, man, within one of those three hours, all of Iowa is apparently within three hours. That's right. Hop in a car either today, tomorrow, or Saturday. We'll definitely have an event Sunday. Stay tuned to uh, Facebook.com/slash The Contender Game or uh, at Contender Game, or follow and like both. Uh, we also have the Instagram at uh, or, or Contender Game on Instagram. I figured out a little funny way to actually upload shit from there. Huh. Um, man, we've been having a great time so far. Oh, like, it's fantastic. What was, like, the, like, even starting from breakfast this morning, it was, like... Yeah, we like, went to Machine Shed. Machine Shed. Very, very folksy restaurant here. Uh, apparently Ben Carson was there, like, last Tuesday, and Chris Christie is gonna be there on Monday. How many of those cinnamon rolls do you think Chris Christie is gonna eat? He's gonna have a tray. He's just gonna go like, trade me, tray, tray. There's a fair chance I might be done after New Hampshire anyway, so none of his weight's gonna count. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna pack it on, baby. Trade me up, Christy for tray. Swish. I endorse this cinnamon tray. <laughs> Dude, you gotta see. Where do we post that? We posted that everywhere. It's on our Twitter. It's on your Twitter. Yeah. It's on our Facebook, I think. Uh, it's in a video that we're going to be cutting together tonight. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, just go check out the size of the, of the, of the cinnamon rolls at Machine It Shed. was a brick. It was, it was bigger than a physical brick that you would build <laughs> a was. wall out of. It was like two bricks stuck together with, uh, except they were like delicious and covered in sugar. But like sugar that was mixed with melted sugar. Uh, oh, no. Geez. It was insane. Yeah. We took like two bites because I didn't want to like uh, uh, offend them because they brought it to us for free. By the way, we didn't order it. They're just like, "This is what we're famous for." Look, no, no offense. It was great. That was delish. It was awesome. Delish. Uh, I was just, just like eat. too much. <laughs> we have a lot to do today, and none of those include five-hour naps. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. 
shit. Five hour digestion nap. That is instant diabetes. That is an entire Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> covered with sugar. covered in sugar. It's sugar, sugar and, and, and sugar and fat content <laughs> in one brick. That it's, lady was saying that some people just come in, get a cup of coffee and one of those, and that's their breakfast. That's that's their probably their meal for the day. God Damn. Plan for the rest of the day. Right now, we have our first actual wholesale order that we are dropping off at Ray Gun, the greatest store in the universe. So we're going to head to that. Uh, then we're going to mu muddle about downtown for uh, an hour or so. Before. Well, I'll tell you what. What do you guys uh, do? You uh, you guys can choose. Yeah. Uh, this is a do two you want us adventure. to go to uh, uh, Hillary, Trump, or Bernie? We'll do one of them because they're all downtown. Right. We're going to do, to be clear, we're going to be doing all we of them. We will be doing all of them, but today, we're going to do Trump, Hillary, or Bernie. See, you know, Trump with two exclamation points. I'm seeing a hi. Someone said hi. Right now, we got one vote for Trump and zero for anybody else. <laughs> There's two for Trump. Wow. Well, looks like the up three for Trump. It's like the Trumps might have it. I think I think Trump. Uh, Trump. Trump. We got a Bernie in the Bernie Bernie. Oh, we got the uh -oh. the Bernie wave, blue thunder coming in. Not about. Are there any Hillary fans in the house? <laughs> oh, another Bernie. Bernie and Trump are now tied. Why don't they just become co-presidents? Co-president. I like that. The like the just nobody's happy ticket. <laughs> It's just like, Bernie's up to five. It, it, it's the ticket you deserve, Bernie's up America. To, Bernie's up to six. <laughs> and nobody's vice president, by the way. They're co-presidents. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie is the president of the blue states. And Trump is the president of the red states. Uh, no, no, no. Because it's the total troll move. It's the opposite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trump's Bernie. the president of the blue, <laughs> states, the blue states. And Bernie's the president of the red states. It's just the fuck you, America ticket. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh man, Bernie is at seven. Trump is at six right now. All right, wait. Listen, this vote's gonna keep going until yeah, we get gonna, to we're, we're, I'm, We have three I'm minutes keep, remaining. Keeping a mental tally on this three minutes. You know, this is not the kind of thing where you save it up until the end too, because I'm just gonna lose count if it starts flooding. What's the blue hearts mean on the side? Oh, they're all the same. It's just people like they hit the heart button. Trump so, ties it up to let you know. Oh my god! My god, King! We got a barn burner! Yeah, man. Oh, snap. I'm really excited about this uh, ray gun store. I was looking at some of the stuff that they did online. Another one for Bernie. Two for Bernie. So, yeah, if we do Bernie, we probably do Bernie and Hillary because I think their headquarters are right around the block from each other. Oh, another Bernie. Bernie pulls ahead by three. You hear that? Bernie and Hillary on the same ticket. <laughs> oh man, what's that building? That's a sweet building. Woo! Uh, I think it's their state house, right? I think I think Ray Gun. Des Moines, Des Moines, their state house. Have you seen Have you seen that that Bernie Sanders shirt, which is just a bunch of Bernie Sanders heads? No. All over it, like someone just took a bunch of photos of Bernie Sanders and just covered it covered a shirt with it? No. Well, Ray Gun's the place that did that, I so did you're it. about to. That was good. This is great. It's also two blocks away from the Marriott. Uh, which we should probably be at tonight. Tonight? Tonight we have the... No, no, no. I mean like, like late, late. Oh, late night. night. Yeah. That's a good call. We want to catch all the, uh, all the flax. The and after the flax. well the flax e the flax and the up, hacks everyone's hyping up their uh, their rush transcripts of the night uh, their their 16, 16 things Jeb Bush said that they're tanking his campaign yeah <laughs> those articles well so really guys we're in downtown Des Moines where tonight will be the center of the political universe as uh, Donald Trump has decided he's not going to do the debate officially he's going to do his uh, his own rally at Drake University. Uh, you used to call him on his cell phone. Um, 
and uh, it, it will be a benefit for the Wounded Warriors. I don't quite know how it's going to be a benefit since it's a free event. Right. Uh, maybe they'll just take donations. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no. Uh, we will not be live tweeting the debate tonight because we are going to be going from debate wa watching party to debate watching party, shaking hands, kissing babies. Uh, there, there might be an odd... An odd tweet. An odd tweet here and again, because at least like we'll be going to places that have the debate sound on. Yeah. You know. Oh, definitely. That's, that's been the problem in the past. Well, 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 oh, oh, what we can do is we can get we can get a man on the ground view of what's actually going on in in the campaign headquarters debate watching part. Yeah, in the debate watch. Yeah. All right, we should be close. No, by. we yeah, we just passed it. We're just looking for parking. All right. We are looking for parking. All right, parking. so Bernie won. Bernie wins. You felt the burn. Uh, and, and we will go to Bernie after we go to, to Ray Gun. Uh, we will let you know uh, how uh, rad the Bernie campaign is or is not. Really, the question is, are they nicer than Ted Cruz? Nicer than Ted. Because right now, I, I listen, I, I know you know that I will not lie to you, Internet. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just say the easy thing. No. I know that Ted Cruz ain't popular amongst the people that are watching this right now. In I'm gonna let you know this. Ted Cruz's campaign was nice as hell, and it, it was, was super nice. And if they are all That's... as nice as that, then that will be a very good time for us. But right now, they're all playing catch up to Teddy Boy, <laughs> Cruz in USA, the Ted Cruz. <laughs> in fact, knowing Justin. All the other campaigns are gonna have to be a heck of a lot nicer than Ted Cruz I'm before just they're saying, even equal. I'm, just, I'm honest to you. I'm not gonna suck up because everybody's a Bernie fan and everybody loves Bernie. That's fine. If Bernie's campaign is really, really nice, we'll be honest. We'll yeah. be fair and honest, right? But right now, the Ted Cruz, the Ted Cruz, his campaign staff in Iowa, very nice. Very nice. All right, uh, we're gonna go into Ray Gun. We will be periscoping more. Follow at Contender Game. Everybody, right now, yeah. follow it on Twitter. Follow it right now at Contender Game. Everybody, uh, go on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Contender Game. And, of course, this is all in support of the actual Contender Game, the game of presidential debate. Please go on. Let's see those hearts for the contender. Please go on uh, thecontender.us or on Amazon by the game. Uh, it's man, you, you gonna ignore hurt. 150 uh, five star reviews on Amazon? No, really? Hey, Come it's, on. it's impossible. Come on, it's it's freaking loud. Check it out. See you guys later. Signing out.